Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 24 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. So in this episode, we are pretty much just going to be moving through the Mount Gundor dungeon uh, up until the point for where there are missable photos. So we're pretty much just going to be clearing out the first like 10 or so floors. Um, I'm going to make an armor upgrade for Steve. We're going to make the super alloy body. So in order to do this, we need the searchlight. We need work equipment. And we need the gold store. We went past it. Where is G? It's right here. Boom. Say cheese. This is just to make it so Steve isn't super squishy. Okay, so we need a gold bar, so we can buy that from Borneo. He should be in this card, actually. Steve just takes way too much damage in dungeons, so we're pretty much just making this to stop him from going down super easily. Just buy, eh, well, yeah, we'll just buy one. Okay, so now we can just build this. Oh, okay, I need to empty something from my inventory. Uh, we'll just stick this in the aquarium. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so, I mean, we do have it, I guess. Alright. Cool. So this is like a massive armor upgrade. So his body armor goes from 6 all the way up to 24. So this is the second best armor in the game. There's only one better than it, which we will be able to make at the end of this chapter. Cool, so into, into the dungeon. <laughs> Alright, so we're going on up to Mount Gundor. Well... I'm Rada, and then Mount Gundor. <laughs> Look there! Is it him? What's he up to this time? Gaspard must be hopping mad that we've been restoring all the origin points. And there's no way we're gonna let him stop us, right? I wonder if Gaspard's causing these falling embers, too. No doubt about it. Oh, there's no way we can start bringing back wood and straw buildings now. He's trying to stop us from buildings so we can't revive any more origin points. That monster! Let's hurry, Monica! Yeah! So there are a few pictures here that are quite missable. Um, but that will be in the next video with time stamps. This right, this video right here is just solid progression through the dungeon. Battle with Griffin's army. Let's get right into it. <laughs> we have plenty of time to uh, to do this actually. Two. Two who honor their mothers. Yeah, it goes with the story. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh man, I haven't done the combat for a little bit, actually. <laughs> the last few episodes were pretty much just all, um... All non-combat stuff. Then I also had that break because of my eye, but it's fine. Um, I can honestly just build up Max's hammer right now. And his gun, 
needs some work for sure. I can just kind of use her armlet whenever, it doesn't matter. And her sword needs a lot of work. So let's just get Max's hammer built up quickly. I can tell that Max needs a lot of work right now too. So we're going to build his hammer up. I'm just going to level it up and then I'm going to put the points into it. And then we should be able to just kind of build it up after. Uh, by the way, I have Gerald to uh, make it so we get more points with our gun while we level it. Max's hammer is significantly slower than his wrench, but we need to get the legend hammer to get the trophy. Cool. Alright, so it probably only needs 80 chill, so we're just going to put 5 crystals into it. Yes, just as I predicted, and it probably needs 80 attack, so we'll put 2 attack crystals onto it. Oh, it needs more. Uh, we'll just do one, because I don't imagine it needs much more than 80. Yep, there we go. So now we have the Digi Hammer. <laughs> I think this one needs a whole buttload of exorcism, right? Yes. No more attack, however. Just more chill smash and a boatload of exorcism. Uh, we'll, we'll just start off with all the exorcism, honestly, because every other stat's pretty high, so we may as well get the lowest one up to par first. There's no wrong way of doing it, but this is just kind of what I want to do. Sweet. So we won't even be able to upgrade this thing until uh, the end of chapter 6 anyway. Okay. Um, I want to put some work into Monica. I do want to get her sword built up soon. Although it's actually seeming like she's a little bit more powerful than Max. Her armband should be pretty powerful now. Yeah, well I mean, as powerful as it's gonna be. The armband in general is still just not a very good weapon, so... Even though we have a very strong armband for the point in the game now because of that metal, because of the metal glitch, it does not mean it's still a strong weapon, and it still takes a little while to go from this stage to the last. So if you kind of want to know where everything is, it's usually easier to have POW in your party because you have access to the map for the entire dungeon. But then also having like Geralt or Mulane in your party will make it so you get more uh, points when you're building stuff up. I just want to look at Max's gun quickly. Alright, so I'm going to put four, four exorcists onto it right now. Because it's so close to leveling up, I just, I just, I have to, I have to do this. I need to get it at its level and then I'll go back to Monica. I feel like Max's gun is probably the weakest weapon that I have right now. But I really want to get Monica's sword built up. Got some chill crystals. Found some cheese. It's quite a random thing. 
Well, I guess he is a humanoid, actually, and he is a, a soldier, so I mean, I guess it, he needs to have some kind of food on him. Alright, we got the map. I think I'm probably going to put some gemstones onto her weapon. Because this thing is going to build up very slowly. Because it's already plus 8, so it, it, uh, it will take a little while to build up. Okay, so I need chill and smash. Does anything here do that? This gives me smash. It also gives me flame, but I mean, that's not really a bad thing. Um... I'm just gonna do one. I don't want this thing to get stat, stat capped. Stat capped. That's kind of hard to say actually for some reason. Oh no, it needs more smash anyway, so may as well. <laughs> That should be enough smash, so then it should really only need chill and attack, yes? Yes. So that'll probably take a few levels. Um, yeah, I'll put a poison coin on here. Give it a little extra DPS. <laughs> Sweet. I feel like it would also just make sense for something called a Serpent Sword to have poison on it. Well, that increased the damage pretty big, or pretty significantly. Yeah, so the poison damage over time is pretty good damage, actually. Now that's pretty big damage. Hunk of copper. I don't think we've gotten the geostone yet. Have I healed? I don't think I have. I shouldn't. I should avoid it. Did I get the geostone or is there just no geostone on this floor? No, I got it. I don't even remember. Do I have the item for leaving? Uh, no, not yet. So we're just going to kind of keep taking out mobs. It seems like pretty much every enemy is getting poisoned, so it seems like it has a decent rate for poisoning. If you put a coin onto your weapon and you don't like the buff that it gives you, or debuff for some of them, uh, what you can do is use the same coin on it again, and you can then get rid of that buff. So if I used another poison coin on my sword, it would then get rid of the poison effect that I have on it. Okay, we're gonna put chill on here. This is just gonna take a lot of chill. <laughs> What stats do I have on these weak weapons here? Not m oh. Maybe, uh... Maybe I should try and get this sword to plus five and then break it down. That might be... a good option, actually. Let's see how much experience I get for taking an enemy out with it. How quickly does this level up? It's not bad. I mean, it will take a little while to get it up to plus five. Although this weapon's not super weak, I can possibly fight with it right now normally. Do I have smash on this weapon? Or no flame either. In fact, this is all stuff that's already low on the Serpent Sword, except for the scale. So I feel like it would probably be a pretty decent upgrade. So 
So yeah, I think um, a good option would be to get this sword to plus 5, and then break it down onto the Serpent Sword. Got a little Rifle Wolf over here. Okay, this weapon is super weak though. <laughs> It does seem like it'll be a very efficient use of points to, uh... I think speed-wise it could really go either way, but... Yeah, I think that'll be worth getting this sword to plus five. And then just putting it onto the Serpent Sword. There are a lot of stats on this weapon that I can use, so I think that the it might be a very viable option. This floor is pretty simplistic with its enemies. They're pretty much just a very small amount of mobs and they're all the same. this so let's get max in here and he's dead not literally but that's annoying do I have an item to get rid of it yes I do which is good oh by the way don't use this at all um, while you're playing through the game don't use holy stones because you need it for uh, making something later on so these things are kind of rare so don't use them use other items as a priority. Look at those elite back steps. <laughs> Another one of those floating guys, huh? Alright. We'll just use Max to take care of him. Her sword seems kind of sluggish. It's alright. Well, that's all the enemies. This should be... this should be possible. Although this floor speed is also pretty challenging since there's holes in the wall and stuff. Or not holes in the wall, but you'll see in a sec. Yeah, like the pits at the end of the wall. Like it wouldn't be very hard to knock this stuff into the pit, for example. Okay, well, let's do this very slightly. I just want to get it into straight shot radius. Uh, okay. Beautiful. It could have been a lot harder. <laughs> Alright, we'll hit this one with some decent effort. Not too hard. That might be too hard. No, it's not. In fact, it's perfect. Noise. Noise. So this should be a straight shot. No, of course. I'm probably the only one who can mess that up. Although we got lucky, it's still pretty close. Okay, I can't. I can't mess that up, right? Okay. Nice. Nice shot. <laughs> Always open your speed chest, you never know what's going to be in there. I could get a diamond or a level up powder, who knows. Oh, beautiful. I actually have a few level up powders, I think, right? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, 
Oh man, that gives me a good idea. I I can just I could totally cheese this. I don't have to level this at all. <laughs> uh, I'll get it. I'll get it to plus two, and then I'll get it up to plus five with the level up powders, and then I'll boost the serpent sword with the other two. That's uh, that's like 400 IQ. <laughs> no, it's really just I'm being lazy. Uh, efficiency is efficiency. Alright, time for the inevitable track back. This is probably the only thing I don't love about uh, the randomized maps is because because you don't know what to expect, you can have some pretty bad backtracking without POW in your party. I honestly may just bring POW into the party. <laughs> Because I don't really think the small bonus that Gerald gives you is really that worth it. Or the, even the one that Malene gives you. I think I'm just going to go pick up Pow, honestly. And have him uh, join the party as our guide. Because that'll just save time. It's not like I don't like the gameplay. <laughs> so I'm okay with fighting a few more monsters. Let's just go get Pow quickly. I should have went to a different stop. It would be slightly quicker. Since we're in this area, it takes a little bit longer to get to the train. We aren't talking about a super long time, but it is noticeable. Oh well, we can speak with Cedric. Uh, Hypercore, I think this is the second last one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the top end core right there. Uh, we're gonna buy some shield kit and we'll buy the voice unit as well. We can probably pick up two more shield kits now. Okay, cool. His armor is definitely getting there. Okay, pal. I think he's actually in this train right here. There we go, add to party. He will save us a lot more time than Gerald will. Back to the dungeon, Mount Gundor. <laughs> Only Max's gun. So this, this map actually forces you to do this floor twice. <laughs> Because this is a red seal, I can only play with Monica, but it gives me a medal to play with Max. So you can either just buy a seal breaker, or you can just run the floor twice. Well, we may as well break the seal. It's only the second floor, so there probably aren't mimics, but I'm not really speedrunning this right now. So... I'm not gonna go around skipping experience or anything. Man, this sword really sucks. Well, three enemies should get us up to plus two. And then I'll just use level up powder for the rest of it because I'm lazy. <laughs> well, I don't want to say lazy. I just like efficiency. It's probably not the most efficient use of level up powder, so... Maybe you could say it is a little bit lazy, but it's okay. I can always just get more after all. <laughs> a thunder gun drawn, huh? Well, I'm kind of cornered right now. Will this level me up? Yes, it will. Okay, time for the ultimate lazy man route. One, two, three. Look at all the chill that's already on there waiting for me. Okay, let's just put like, wait. It needs more, so I can probably put a good amount on there. Let's bring it up to 80. <laughs> 
Sweet, it's not too much. What stats on the Serpent Sword are already low? Um, I can definitely use some Exorcism and some Beast if I wanted to. I have a lot of Beast, so let's do some Beast. Alright, so that's good. Now we'll grab the Serpent Sword. And it's already a pretty high level, so I think it makes sense to use both of these right now. One, two. Okay, so now we can break down this sword here. Oh yeah, look at all those stats. Ugh, that's beautiful. <laughs> the sword's literally going to be at max durability. Oh no, its durability won't go up anymore. This probably isn't going to be enough to get it to uh to get all the chill that we need but that's a significant upgrade so let's just put let's just put all seven chill on here and hope that it's enough i hope it's enough voice cracked oh well i think this is enough i think that's probably enough oh man that hurts i i bet you i bet you i only need one more chill too that sucks oh well Oh, look at that damage increase, though. <laughs> that's so that's so much bigger. Nice. Well, if I take everything out with her sword, I... Oh, yeah. Her, her damage is literally quadrupled now. <laughs> if I take everything out with the sword, I should be able to get it, up, get it up another level. And then I can put more chill onto it. Do I even have any more chill? I have two. That should be enough. It should be enough. Man, I have the map and I still went the inefficient route. I don't really need anything from that, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I knew it was there, but I still found that attack to be pretty sudden. I think I'll let this thing... I'll build up this thing's wind so I can use it against that tree. The tree, are, the tree enemies are kind of strong, actually. Okay, we aren't going to go that route, but I just kind of want to keep this stored so we can save it for a tree monster. Even though I have pretty high stats on my weapon now, those things are still going to be decently strong. Oh, nice. We definitely needed that. <laughs> A lot of hunter crystals. These guys only need one attack to get uh, dazed. Okay, there's nothing over here. There was just that one monster. The enemies on this floor aren't particularly hard. Even if I still had a weak what I'm just going to do this. Oh, <laughs> nothing like a one-shot. <laughs> oh, is he just going to roll at me? Yeah, all he wants to do is roll. Come on, one more. There we go, thank you. Oh my goodness, I messed it up. Okay, well, he's only shooting at me, so it's cool.
All right, here's the tree. Boom. That did not do a lot of damage, actually. In fact, my sword is stronger than it anyway. So that was just a waste of time to begin with. Well, now, now we know. I think I poisoned that thing through its guard. That's pretty cool. So basically, Monica is a froggy. <laughs> Got some cheese. Always need more cheese. This is probably the magic crystal. Oh, no it's not. I was trying to use reverse psychology on the chest, but it didn't work. <laughs> oh well, the magic crystal is probably literally right at the exit. <laughs> at the end, after every monster. Or it's in here with the room that has three treasure chests. Depending how many monsters are left, I may or may not be able to get this thing built up in this level. Mighty healing. Well, I mean, that's definitely stuff we still need, still need so it's not that big of a deal. There's the magic crystal. Oh yeah, literally one enemy left, so if we took that thing out earlier... Oh, he's the one who also has the rock as well. Funny how that works, huh? Well, onward and onward, or whatever the saying is. <laughs> This thing might give me enough experience to build up, we'll see. Oh, okay. I, I don't... Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm gonna heal, just in case. Uh, where's my... F I have a lot of weapons that I don't need, I can just ditch most of those. Why did I eat the bread? do that. Oh, it's an easy shot, too. I don't want to hit this one too hard. This is a- this should be an easy shot. Beautiful. Who knows, maybe we'll get level up powder. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I wouldn't use it at this point anyway, because her sword is almost leveled up now anyway. I'm okay with anything. Gemstone would be nice, though. <laughs> Treasure chest key. Yeah, that's like the most common thing. It's the most common useless thing. No, I'm kidding. It's not useless, it's just not very useful. <laughs> as weird as that sounds... I find this dungeon kind of dark. This is probably my least- I want to say it is my least favorite dungeon in the game. Why did I use a key? <laughs> uh, the weapons get the most fun at this point in the game in my opinion, but this place I just kind of find depressing. Uh, so where's the rock? Man, I went past it, didn't I? It, it's all the way at the bottom, isn't it? Why can't I find it? Where is it? Is 
It's right there. Alright, next floor. And we should get Monica's sword built up in this floor. Unless it's a blue seal, which it might actually be. Okay, we're gonna save on up. Okay, no, it's the next one that I think's a blue seal. Little dragons on the mountain. A holy gun drawn. By the way, if you um if you take charges from holy gun drawns, it just gives you wind. So like if you get blasted by a holy gun drawn and a wind gun drawn, it would actually just give you two stats. Or two stacks. I don't know why it's like that, but it just kinda is. Is that enough? No. This should be, though. Sweet. Alright. Let's see if this is enough chill. Because I'm, I'm actually kind of out of crystals, and I don't really want to go buy more. I'm really focused on just getting this thing built up right now. <laughs> I just want it to be built up. Sweet, Sargantanus. So we are on track, beautiful. That was a really big increase to the damage. <laughs> cool, so it's pretty much just a straight shot to Island King from now on. Sweet, we'll put Beast on here first since it's the lowest. Although this thing is going to need a crap load of Smash and Beast now. So that darkness buff slash debuff there... It, it actually like increases the damage your weapon deals, but it makes it so when you swing your sword, you take damage. So it's kind of a trade-off. You do a lot more damage, but you take damage on every swing. Well, every swing that deals damage anyway. Yeah, her sword is like stupid overpowered now. <laughs> Yeah, so we can probably just leave her alone for a while. Let's get on Max, because he needs some serious work. Let's uh, give him a proper weapon, shall we? I kind of want to prioritize his gun. I think it needs the most work currently. If you time it properly, you can hit these back at the enemy. It's kind of hard to do with the hammer, though. Okay, let's, um... Where, where is it? I want to put it onto my hotbar. Since we're basically just going to be spamming the living crap out of this thing, we're going to have to use the weapon powder quite often. Okay, that was just bad. Did I put the bell trigger on here yet? No, I didn't. So that's definitely going on when this thing levels up. So I have enough Spectrumize points for it. Oh yes, the all-important map. <laughs> 
That is the only thing with POW, because you do make it so you're going to get a useless chest on every floor. I think that uh, the drawback is worth the pro, though. I'm going to feed my fish. I don't want to ignore them. I'm pretty much just going to be feeding them exclusively Minon for a little while. Minon increases the boost stat, and you do need, uh... So you really only need three stats, honestly, to win the Finny Frenzy. You just need boost, endurance, and stamina. Like, the tenacity is okay, and strength is okay, but you don't really need it. It's just the other three that aren't really going to help you out. It's all that you really need to win the race. The actual reward you can get by winning the race is alright. But it's usually better to kind of just get the trophy, I guess, and go on with your day. Because the real reward that you get is just something to make your weapons stronger. It's not really necessary. It certainly helps, don't get me wrong, but... Crystals do the same job. And even just gemstones in general, which become purchasable at a point later on, are going to make it pretty helpful. It sounds crappy, but you can just use the infinite money glitch and then buy gemstones all you want late, later on in the game to save a lot of time. <laughs> okay, so this thing needs exorcism, scale, and lightning. What stats are on this thing? Absolutely none of that. Um, I'm just going to put all lightning on here. I don't think this will max it out. I hope it doesn't. No, good. When I say max it out, what I mean is, uh, at a point some weapons will stop taking stats. Like, the lower level a weapon, the less stats that you'll be able to put onto it, for example. And lower level weapons have even lower stat caps. Beautiful. So that's probably going to be enough lightning actually. So we may just need some exorcism scale and attack now. The durability boost helps too. Okay, um... Let's just do scale. You know what, what do these gemstones do? I'll break this down. But if I can't get full use of the lightning, I'm not going to put it on here. Alright, cool, that's worth it. I can use this, that's fine. It seems weird getting flame from that. I can use this too. Oh, does this also increase my attack? Pretty decent amount as well. Cool. Alright, just scale and attack now. I'm not going to use this. I kind of want to hold on to it. Um, I'll put poison on this gun. I kind of want to have that. Kind of hoping it goes through. Sweet. Okay, so that should be a decent power up to his weapon. It still needs some work for sure, but that should be a decent upgrade. Yes. It's basically double damage. It's amazing how quickly weapons can go up in power in such short amounts of time. 
Well, this is just from this is just the fruit of our labors from earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, those things are noodles now. What do I need to get this thing up to the steel gun? Uh, we already got the rifle wolf. We just need a heat fairy now. I think that comes comes in a little bit later in the game, or a little bit later in this chapter. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get hit by that. Okay, I'm not going to take the teleport because the geostone's right here. Oh, well, the speed of ball's literally right there anyway. Um... I'm gonna be honest, this looks terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the speedo with that, it looks pretty bad. I will come do this later. Yeah, you need to get every shot perfect for that because of all the curves. So that looks terrible. That's what you call bad luck with the spawn. Okay, I don't want to do this again. Is the rock up at the top? Yes it is. I gotta clean out my inventory. Alright, I just cleared my inventory out off camera. So we're going to the Steam Goyone. Or Go Goyone? Who knows? <laughs> it's uh, basically... I don't even know how to describe it. We'll see in a sec though. You remember those fishmen from Venicio? It's kind of like them, except uh, they're reskinned. <laughs> and f instead of being effective in a wet environment, now they're good in a hot and dry and steamy environment. Savage Ram. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, well, that's pretty good experience for my weapon, too. That was literally no damage. I think that was, like, a failed attack or something. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, it was just low damage for some reason. That guy just ran right into a wall. <laughs> This one's a Mimic. Alright, so Mimics are starting now. On the fourth floor, it seems, and I'm poisoned. I forgot that I had a Steel on my hammer. Okay, let's drink an Antidote so I don't die. There's a pack of three enemies over there, so I'll probably need to utilize my my gun, or I'll have Steve take care of it. I'm gonna have Steve take care of this. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that armor. Oh yeah, that, that thing doesn't even doesn't even hurt me right now because my armor's so high. This is the Steam Guyone. Basically just a fish man with goggles. Or safety goggles, I should say. Oh yeah, I forgot how quickly Steve moves, so this saves time with backtracking significantly. I forgot that I bought the voice module for him. It, it actually gets annoying after a time. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> Alright, I have to do it over his core. Voice off. Because that gets annoying really quickly. <laughs> I'm happy that they added an option allowing us to turn it off. Because they definitely could have decided to not do that. Decent amount of experience. Although I don't really fancy leveling Steve up a lot right now, so we're gonna hop on Max at the next enemy pack. Did I get the Geostone yet? No. 
I got it on all the other fours though, right? Yes. Wait, what? Why didn't I get healing on this floor? I must have healed without even realizing it. Pretty solid combo to take out an enemy. Uh, look at that experience. <laughs> hey, these guys take good damage from my gun. <laughs> put more stats onto my hammer now. It needs exorcism. Well, it needs a few things, but exorcism is the lowest. I'm gonna just do all exorcism. I mean, we're probably gonna need like a hundred of it on here to begin with, so... May as well get the lowest stats up to high end first. Make this a better well-rounded weapon. This thing is pretty much just going to be taking only scale. The geostone's probably in that locked room. Seems like if you're close enough to those things, their gun won't hit you. Okay, well there's the rock. We can just go on with our day, but we still need the Geostone. There is also a seal on this floor that I would pro that I probably want to break. <laughs> Which unfortunately means back backtracking. Weapon exploding. No, it was poison. Well, that is why all that for paint that we're never going to use, huh? <laughs> Well, luckily I can just run over here and heal the full. Nice. So that was pretty much of no consequence. Oh, that didn't work. A prickly? What's this thing doing with a prickly? That's weird. It just doesn't really make sense to find fishing bait in a molten lava, where there's probably no fish hanging around. Okay, what's this? I, I, I can benefit from this, so I'll use it. Mm-hmm, that's about right. Okay, well, that doesn't matter, since there's a healing fountain over here anyway. Oh, there's nothing in that room over there. <laughs> Well, if there's a Mimic, then I have to go that way anyway. And if the speed of ball shows up there, then I'm going to need to go there. Yeah, there's Mimics. At least one of those is a Mimic. Or maybe all three, who knows. Let's get on Steve, because he's fast. Yeah, he definitely needs a new, uh, energy backpack. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, well, it's quite obvious that the last chest is a Mimic. It's unlikely we'll get two devils in a row, so let's open this up. Oh yeah, that's what that's what I get. Doesn't matter. We'll probably hit the healing fountain on the way out again anyway. Alright. 
Oh, he only took three hits. Easy. We'll take the teleport to the speedo. Oh, another easy one. This one was lucky. <laughs> Who knows what we'll get. It's anybody's guess. Okay, don't hit this too hard. As long as I hit it straight, it's fine. Beautiful. <laughs> Can't skip this. Well, I mean, I guess it is only like a four or five second spiel anyway. It's not that big a deal. That's something useful to have. Hopefully I never need to use it, but it is something useful to have. Better to use this than the resources that we have. I think Steve just takes more damage over time from burning fuel than he does than taking damage from enemies. <laughs> All the way at the bottom, that's okay. Let's just organize this quickly. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Proceed to the next floor. Okay, Mountain Baddie appears. Just what is a Mountain Baddie? I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> it might be an enemy for Steve. <laughs> Literally the first enemy. The absolute first enemy has the rock for us. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna get the Geostone and then leave. I'm just kind of hoping it's not locked behind door number one. <laughs> no, but there's literally no reason for us to fight anything else in this floor. We've got kind of gotten past the point of super high experience from our takedowns with the weapons, so. May as well just get the Geostone and then get out of here. Oh, the Hamburger. This is what the Mountain Baddie is. We'll take that out. We'll take him out so he's in our monster journal that we still haven't bought, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the other chest because I have a feeling it's a mimic. All right, let's grab this rock and get out of here. We're lagging a lot on this floor for some reason. Sorry about that. So it's probably a good thing to get out of this floor as soon as possible. Almighty, super useful, extremely, extremely helpful map. <laughs> there's a lot of chests here, so there's definitely a lot of mimics. Can we, can we use this on the ride pod? I doubt it. Oh, we can. I don't think we can leave the floor on the ride pod, though. No. So now we have to get off. It's fine. To the next floor. It's a good idea to save. You never know. Uh, Monica's sword, we can do that. She has a really strong sword too. Now anyway. 
Oh yes, putting the exit right next to the entrance. If we didn't have POW, that would have been a good start. Interesting looking map. Magnum off. It has a lot of HP. It takes a lot of damage. Okay, so... Let's put this coin on here so we stop taking damage. This pretty much does the same thing as darkness. Except you don't take damage from it. Oh man, so all that did was just get rid of the buff. Okay, so we would need to use another coin to increase its power. Oh well, let's just put some hunter crystals on here. We'll probably get another one of those coins to drop anyway. If not, we can always buy one later on in the game. We will do slightly less damage now, but... We are also not going to be taking damage after every single hit. Yeah, it's like a 30% damage decrease. <laughs> wow, three devils in a row, huh? That's unfortunate. There's poison on her sword, right? Yes. Well, it's inevitable that we were gonna fight one eventually. Okay, so we are allowed to heal. That's okay. And we'll take some cheese, and we're just gonna repair her weapon. I'm gonna leave her armband for now, because I don't know when I'm actually gonna use the thing. We might get a coin that heals it for us. Getting levels pretty quickly right now. I think I just left one experience point behind. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting to do, but I'll take it. Look at that damage, wow. A lot of mimics pretty close together. Nice. Doicent. Some pretty doicent damage. We're actually almost done this floor <laughs> pretty quick. We might get the uh, speed metal. Alright. It makes sense to play with Monica right now, anyway. Oh, that could have been worse than it was. Taking some damage. Hopefully we can get away without healing. If there's another one of those ranged guys, I will heal though. 
This should be doable. I'm gonna heal. Yeah, that's a good idea to heal. Cheese heals a lot, actually. A lot of HP. I think, I think these Stick Joe things are also in Dark Cloud 1, if I'm not mistaken. This game is a lot better than Dark Cloud 1, in my opinion, though. Maybe that's because of the voice acting or the story, or just because I enjoy it more. I might play Dark Cloud 1 on the channel at some point. If anybody wants to see that, let me know. Yes, we still want to open it, because we got to clear this floor. <laughs> it would also help if we can hit the thing. And we're done. Okay, well, two medals. And if we can get this in, then this floor is 100% complete. So let's get it in, no pressure, right? <laughs> Yeah, I like weapons at the top. Did don't tell me I sold my speed of stuff. Oh no. Did I sell my speed of stuff? Okay, no, I didn't. It's just not coming to the top for some reason. Alright. There we go. Just a light tap. Okay. Just a slightly harder tap, still light. Come on, don't don't go in the hole. Don't go in the hole. Sweet, sweet. All right. Just go straight, and it's fine. Perfect. Yeah, we got pretty lucky with a lot of those, so this floor is 100% complete now. <laughs> so we never really have to come back to this specific floor again. And that's how you get it done. Oh, Ruby, that's cool. Okay, let's equip our hammer, and we're gonna get on Steve. Because he'll get us out of here quicker. Let's just open this up since we're right here. Oh, it's a clown. So it's worth opening. Let's take the red box. I mean, neither of those are really that great, but I would have preferred the item. Save a little bit of time later. My coffee's gone a little cold. It's all right. Tastes better than it did yesterday. I'm pretty much just using Steve to go through the place faster. So he's probably getting pretty bored. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I did mess my inventory up a bit, so... Let's just do this one more time. So the item should automatically go to the bottom of my bag next time. Ride pod only. Well, it looks like Steve's gonna get his action that we were talking about. A wind gun drawn. <laughs> Super power attack, pretty much. Literal one shot. This is a very small map. And I actually really like the layout of it, kind well, except for the 
the big backtrack I'm gonna have to do at the end. Outside of that, it's a pretty solid map. Nothing in here, huh? So everything is pretty much on the journey. It's like a shonen anime. <laughs> Yeah, this map is laid out like a shonen anime. We get here, and we gotta go up this dead end. Find some items to improve ourselves, and now we can get back onto the main goal. It's literally like every shonen anime ever. <laughs> Bomberhead. These guys have a really annoying to get picture, but we'll get that in another video all, all together, as we did in the other chapters. Hamburger. I like fighting these enemies actually, <laughs> they're kind of funny. There are not a lot of them in the game though, there's usually only one per floor anyway. Sweet. Got some gun drones over here, and they are one-shottable. Nice and easy. We're getting a lot of experience on just one floor, huh? We may have four or five thousand experience by the time we finish this floor. Because the enemies are giving pretty high numbers now. Nowadays. This guy drops the rock that we need for leaving this place. Okay, let's pick up our geostone quickly. We're just gonna avoid this thing. Okay, hopefully we don't have to get off of Steve to open this. Okay, cool. Alright, let's open this chest. It might be a mimic. We'll see. It's not, which is cool. Now let's just handle these guys right here. If I actually hit them. Yeah, 4K experience. Um... I have a lot of shots, so I'm gonna try this one. It's kind of far, but we are given a very generous amount of shots to make it, so let's do this one. went a little too far. It's okay, I kind of figured I'd have to do two shots to make this one work. We'll hit this one a little bit, not too hard. Oh, nice, that was so close. <laughs> yeah, we're given a very generous amount of shots for this one. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, not too hard. Just a nice little tap. Cool, now we have four shots to make this work. So I'm just going to kind of hit this one up into the air a bit. Not too hard, so that it kind of comes down. Alright, well that did not work, but it might come back to us as a blue ball. And it did, so this is easy now. Well, it's not easy, but it's easier. Okay. Noise. This floor is 100% done too now. Getting things done along the way is a good feeling. <laughs> okay, time to open this bad boy up. Who knows what's in there. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm not excited about that. <laughs> It is certainly a useful thing to have, but I think everybody likes to see a gemstone in the chest. <laughs> Just because you can, if you use the infinite money glitch and buy gems all you want later on in the game, it does not mean it's really a great feeling to do it, and it feels nice getting them throughout the game, like from Speeda. And I mean, you also have to pretty much get to the end of the game before you can buy the gemstones anyway, so... Getting them a little earlier is pretty good, and this is the only way you can really get them right now. Aside from collecting them from the future, but that's a one-time thing. Max's light hand weapon. We can do that. This will probably get it a lot of levels, too. Okay, this is a bigger map. The Secret of Fire Mountain. There might be a lot of mimics on this floor. That's okay, mimics are easy to deal with with the hammer. Since they're pretty much all weak against Smash and Beast, and that's something that the hammer gets a lot of. Well, the Smash anyway, the Beast not so much. Yeah, this thing's still getting a lot of experience. <laughs> It'll probably slow down drastically like Monica's sword did though. That's fine. A steam tour. That's big damage, I like it. <laughs> okay, what can we put on here? Um, what does this give us again? I... I'll put this on here. Why not? Uh, let's just look at his gun first. And Monica's stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll put it on Max's hammer. I'm okay with that. I don't think we need flame. No, I think we do need flame later, actually. So this is this is fine. All right, so we will put some exorcism on here now. We're gonna have to buy some more chill crystals for sure. Okay, so it should be noticeably more strong now. Yeah, it's like an extra 10, 15, 20 points per hit. So definitely not bad. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Hold on, something might be funny. Oh no, it's a mimic. I never saw that coming. <laughs> uh, there's nothing else in here. So let's get this. A petite fish. Speaking of petite fish, I should feed my fish. Please don't turn off the music. It did not. Nice. Give him some minol. This room might get dangerous. Okay, well this thing is weak, so that's fine. No, I don't know about weak, but he take okay. Let's just uh, run over here and heal quickly. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Cool. I don't really want to use my resurrection powder. Right now I'm just trying to save my items. It's not super hard to go buy more, but <laughs> I'd rather just not use them to begin with. If I can help it. Okay, sweet. Now this thing over here. This guy will go down easily. Yeah, this is I figured. Well, he's basically weak against this hammer. <laughs> this whole place is weak against Max's hammer, honestly. Magmanoff. I should have done my charge attack. In fact, I think I'll do that this time. Alright, come here. It wasn't very climactic, but it's okay. Alright. Let's put some more exoschism on here. Let's do four, not just one. We have some time, but we don't have all of the time, alright? <laughs> Okay, cool. This thing is actually probably going to be ready to upgrade soon. What do I need? What enemies do I need to get this thing built up? Okay, so this thing won't build up until like chapter 6. Getting it ready by then is not a bad thing though. Alright. This thing probably has 400 HP. If I were to take a guess, a guesstimate. Here is the geostone, and we got some treasure. Cool. I don't remember if the map dropped on this floor yet. Who knows? It's possible that the one at the exit's a mimic. There's no way of really knowing. Well, it's inefficient to go grab that right now, so let's take care of this. And if it's a mimic, then we'll have no choice but to go over. Okay. So this should be pretty doable. Okay. We kind of crushed the last two floor for metals, so let's see if we can do it again, shall we? Okay, I don't want to hit this one too hard. Uh, that's good. That might be a little too hard. We'll see. And, um, yeah, as I said, a little bit too hard. It's okay. We still have enough for an extra shot. Just... Don't mess up again, you got this. <laughs> I aimed it well, I just need to hit it a little less hard, and that might be about the same, actually. Don't hit it into the cliff. Alright, cool. Um, maybe not cool. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Well... Yeah, I misjudged the map layout. I wasn't paying attention, so I probably could have hit this a little bit harder. I was thinking I had to go left there. 
I don't know if this is doable now, or we're gonna have to just kind of see. I just have to not mess this shot up, and then I might just have to ricochet the next one. Okay, so not too hard. Maybe that's not hard enough. Okay, so it's a red ball into a blue gate. And this... Okay, I'm gonna just need luck for this. Yeah, I kind of screwed this one up. Okay, let's just hope we get lucky. <laughs> uh, I don't think things could have been that easy. Oh well. We aced the last two floors, so messing up here isn't so bad. Any hoozles. <laughs> let's get out of here. Uh, where is it? What is it? There it is. That is a big rock. I mean, that thing... It's like half the size of him. That thing's probably at least 150 pounds, realistically. So, either Max is a superhuman or... Or that rock is just not as heavy as it seems. Uh, we're gonna save here. Always gotta save. Never stop saving. Okay, death trap. Yeah, something like that. We have eight minutes to complete this floor, so it might be a big floor. No, no more than usual, and there doesn't seem to be any locked area. So maybe there's harder enemies on this floor. Uh, the first enemy has the magma rock. We can literally just leave this place. It did have the rock, right? I think I just saw that one was flashing. I think it dropped the rock. It should have. No, it didn't. Alright, so I guess I was just seeing things. I guess it would have been... A little greedy hoping for the magic crystal right there. Got some sturdy cloth. We probably aren't gonna need it, but that's okay. Just taking care of some business. Yeah, they're just they're just lining up for me. <laughs> I am starting to get a little low on HP. Oh, he's just guarding it. How, how can this guy guard literal beams of energy? Like the. Changes the sun's energy into a powerful attack beam. So how is that guy blocking the sun's power with his bare hands? That makes literally no sense. <laughs> if someone is literally able to block out the sun's solar energy with their bare hands, I think they're a little bit stronger than a peon, don't you think? <laughs> Not even Griffin blocks attacks like that, and he's the boss. That's a, that's a big mimic. And that's some big damage. Let's go and heal. <laughs> okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, that is half my health. Oh, alright, that's a thing that King Mimics do, actually. They basically do, like, half of your HP. That guy does not glow. Even though he's enraged. Oh, I leveled up my gun. I didn't even realize I did that. Uh, so yeah, let's put some scale on here.
It's probably not enough scale to get it ready to level up. I don't think it is. Oh, it is, okay. It just needs attack now. But we also need to beat a heat fairy first before we can build the thing up. I think we can build this up in this chapter. I'm pretty sure we can. But if not, chapter 6 for sure. There's another soldier. <laughs> And a savage ram. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we got Stick Joe over here. <laughs> and another Ram. Alright, Steve is pretty much done now. So. We're gonna have Cedric take a look at it when we're done this floor. Have we gotten the Geostone? Yes. Did we get the magma rock? No. Okay. No enemy in this room has it, but we still need experience, so let's just take care of these mobs. Alright, come here. Max is almost dead. And Max is dead. Okay. Well, there's another reason why we're gonna have to leave this floor after. <laughs> well, at least we got his, his hammer leveled up. Let's just throw four more exorcism on there. That'll bring it to a hundred, so that's actually probably enough. Yes, it just needs chill now. And the enemies from chapter 6. Oh, this enemy here has the... Has the stone. How much XP does this give our armband? A decent amount, okay. Well, anyway, we're done on this floor. Let's get out of here. And that's the first floor we actually left while staying on Monica. Desperation on the mountain. Monster transformation. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not that bad, but it's it's really not good. In my opinion. I'm only going to be doing it for the trophy and not really touch it again. Whenever I played this game back in the day on PS2, I literally didn't touch monster transformation. I just really don't find much point to it. Uh, so where are we going? Sindane. We're gonna have C Cedric fix our stuff up. I think the monster transformation's a cool idea, but it's just really not powerful enough f for it to be particularly helpful, in my opinion. Like, you can do some decent damage once you have a top-end monster, but it's just much faster to just play as Monica. Into the abyss. Well, it's not really an abyss, but we are going to play as Monica on this floor. Um, really, just because of what's going to happen soon. So, I just want to build her weapons up. If we can actually find an enemy, that'd be great. 
We'll just run through this place as a Homara. <laughs> no, thank you. Hamburger. Oh, that... Not a good start, I gotta say. This is a pretty cool sword. Honestly, this sword looks like it could be like the second last sword. Although there's still like two more swords after this before the Island King. I think it's worth like doing the first attack with a full charge, but after that it's just really slow. So I just spam it, even if it doesn't do as much damage. A lot of bomber heads. Uh, I mean, I can put points into this thing, but I'm going to save that for later. Oh, that's pretty good damage, actually. Well, I mean, this thing is literally strong against that monster, so it makes sense. This thing has high flame and, and chill. So it's going to pretty much be good against fire and ice mobs. And then pretty much weak against everything else. Okay, this is like the third time I've looked at it, but what are the other stats? It has high scale too. Okay, so it makes sense that it's good against those things. Because they are literally weak against scale. And it seems like it'll work decently well against, um, like, vanguards and whatnot, armored enemies. But it still needs a lot of work for sure. Alright, last time, I promise. <laughs> um, when I do build, up, build this thing up, it'll probably be a good idea to go into Beast and Exorcism first. Because those are the more common enemies, usually. Okay, let's hop on the ride pod and kind of speed through this area a little bit. No more backtracking. Do we have the geostone yet? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. I literally don't remember, like, every single floor. It's not a very memorable experience grabbing the geostone, I guess. Alright, we just need to find the enemy that has the, uh, the rock on him and then we're gonna get out of here. Got some treasure. Okay, well that makes things easier. It's probably behind the locked door. So let's just open this chest. Yeah, it's good against this thing too. Alright, this might help us. We got three devils in a row, so can we get an angel already, please? Thank you. <laughs> I was hoping for HP healing, but you can't win them all, so... Oh well. Well, I mean, we are literally going through this entire place, so... We are probably... Going to end up clearing all the enemies out of this place anyway. Okay, that thing's attack is probably going up at a decent pace right now, which is good. I'm not really going to put points into it right now, I just kind of don't want to. I'm more worried about my sword currently. Yeah, we got like five enemies in this last room. And the last enemy at the back of the room is the one who has the key. Yeah, this thing's damage is going up a lot, like really quickly actually. 
Okay, what's in this chest? Uh, something we can't even carry. <laughs> Okay, these enemies are all going to be weak against her armband, pretty much. Ah, even this guy takes good damage. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, well now I just want to level her armband up, so I'm probably going to take this last guy out with it, too. Ah, oh, of course it's the one thing who's a beast. Oh, that was close. I was kind of expecting that attack to finish him, but it did not. Well, we're going to hop on Steve so we don't need to backtrack. Well, since we already cleared this place, we are most likely going to do the speed on this floor. I don't know how quickly we did this level. I'm not sure if we'll get the time challenge one. No, well, there's only one way to find out. One, two. Alright, cool, we did. Sweet. Okay, this should be doable. This is a generous amount of shots for how far it actually is. Do I have game time on fast? Yes, we can turn that back down to normal now. Alright. We have a decent amount of space for this. Probably could have hit it a little bit harder. Okay, I'm just gonna nudge this thing right now. Okay, so now I need to ricochet this. Unfortunately, I should be able to make this work. It's kind of hard to. S okay, I think I think that'll be what I need to do. Beautiful. Sweet. Level up powder, noise. We got two of them too. Not bad. Let's just get on Monica. Because we're probably going to play with her on this next floor too. Although we are going to back out so she can heal up for free. Oh, Max's gun. Well, I mean, he kind of needs some work anyway, so... Maybe we'll just do it with Max anyway. He can probably handle about any enemy, no problem. So, yeah, we'll just play this with Max. Sorry, Monica's in a good spot right now anyway. Let's just do this a little bit to kind of speed things up a bit. The long stretch. One of these is probably a mimic. Yes. It's not terrible damage, but it's not really good either. This is a pretty big map. There's a lot of mimics in here, aren't there? <laughs> well, it's okay that I'm wearing the speed of thing right now, because I'm, I'm doing this with only his gun anyway, so... I don't need some strong hammer. 
Wow, not a single one was a mimic. That's lucky. Or unlucky, who knows. Not a single one was the magic crystal, so... Really, who knows. <laughs> Man, it's just all chests. Okay, here's a Mimic. That's a King Mimic. Well, this guy's gonna be a little easier to deal with because he's slower. Has a lot of HP. Or maybe I just don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh well, seeing 50s is a lot better than seeing 10s. Okay. I really hope that didn't mess me up. Even 20 is a pretty depressing number to see at this point in the game. Um, I really hope that my attack didn't register because I don't want to lose the metal. Because I am putting the effort into getting it right now. I got lucky before when that happened and I still got the metal so hopefully I got lucky again. I didn't hear the sound effect that happens when you make a swing so it might be okay. Hopefully. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I think Max's gun only needs attack now, I believe. Yeah, so when it, when it levels up, I can pretty much just ignore the thing, honestly. Okay. Just guarding all of my attacks. And that guy took a third of my weapon hit points to deal with. <laughs> this gun kind of sucks against the Griffin soldiers. That was pretty big damage actually. I think it's still I think it's fine though. Okay. We're still doing just fine. We're probably gonna grab this coin over here. Let's see what we get. We got like four three or four devils in a row, so maybe we'll get three or four right nope. Oh. Well, could have been worse. I mean, we have the healing, the uh, weapon healing powder on our hotbar anyway, so we don't have to go into the menu to use it. I may as well just keep it toggled over because we aren't taking any pictures right now anyway. Man, there's a lot of soldiers on this floor. I wonder what these guys are weak against. Maybe beasts? I don't really know what these guys would count as, because they're humanoids, right? They're one of the only humans you fight in the game. Maybe just raw attack is good against them. Three more, unless... Well, there's three more chests, too, so there might be a Mimic or two. Okay, what's waiting for another soldier? I can hear its steps. Yeah. I think I might just put some raw attack onto this thing. Um, no, we're gonna need some smash and beast later. Anyway, so maybe I'll just put some beast on here.
That'll kind of increase our overall damage anyway. Okay, so these guys are not weak against Beast. So that was my only guess for what they'd be weak against anyway, so I really have no idea what does better damage against them. It's also possible that these guys just straight up resist laser weapons. I really have no idea. Okay, well, it seems like this thing is a beast, but it's also probably weak against fire. Okay, one of these is a mimic. It's the other one. Awesome choice. Is our, st is our cheese stack maxed? No, it's not. Which means that that dropped more than three pieces of cheese. That's actually pretty rare. You don't really see cheese very often in chests, so when you do, you don't really see more than three at a time. Really. Cool. So we got lucky. Um, this should be doable. Okay, no, I think this is fine. Not too hard. Maybe it was too hard. Okay, yeah, it was too hard. Unless we can just kind of hit it like this. Yeah, I did hit it a little too hard. Okay, let's just get it over this rock. Okay. Alright, uh, I don't want to hit this too hard. Maybe just this is fine. Ideally. Okay, now we're not in good shape. Uh, that is so unbelievably lucky, it's crazy. <laughs> that is so lucky. I am not complaining. That was just pure, that was just straight up luck. Okay, this might be too hard. Okay, I heard a lot another hit, so it might be blue. If it's blue, yes. I can probably just get it straight into the speed of thing. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't go over the thing too much. And it did. In fact, if it was red, it would have just went through. That sucks. Oh well, he can't win them all. Okay, let's put this thing back on, and let's get out of this dungeon. made it to the peak. We're gonna just hop on Steve because it's faster. This is a pretty big place after all. Yeah, so we can't go any further until we do some Giorama. Alright everybody, so we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.